So hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here again and uh, those little dark dots that you see behind me, those purple uh, colored uh, dots, these are uh, starch granules of a banana and today in this video um, I would like uh, to show you how you can prepare those granules uh, yourself if you have a microscope at home uh, and I'm also going to talk a little bit about starch itself and why starch is used uh, to store energy by plants. So why don't plants just store the glucose that they just made by photosynthesis? Why do they bother to convert it uh, to starch. Hmm. I'm going to talk about this uh, later. Well these are the bananas uh, that I used. Uh, you can see that they have already changed uh, the color a little bit. They turned brownish. That's okay. Um, they're just very ripe. I left it a little bit lying around uh, too long in the refrigerator and then they like to turn brown. But it's important that they arrive because uh, I'm going to show you how to make a so-called squash specimen. This means that I will be compressing a little bit of the banana material between a cover glass and a microscope slide to make it sure that it's sufficiently thin and then we're able to see those uh, starch uh, granules. So I've uh, taken, uh, using a knife tip, uh, I've taken a little bit of the banana material and uh, then I mixed it with iodine. Now iodine and starch, they make a reaction. They react with each other and it is the iodine which is actually originally a little bit so yellowish brownish in color, orange in color and when it reacts with starch uh, it turns really black, um, okay? Um, if you think it's too dark uh, then dilute it a little bit with water, it's also fine. And then I took some of this uh, specimen here, a little bit of the banana Nano material stained uh, with the iodine and then I placed the cover glass on top and then I really pressed very hard to make sure that the banana is very thin and spread out. And this is uh, yeah, a, a thing where you have to be a little bit careful that you don't hurt your thumb because uh, otherwise if the uh, cover glass breaks well, if the cover glass breaks, <laughs> look at this. Not only the cover glass broke here, uh, but the whole microscope slide uh, broke here. Uh, I made a stupid little mistake. Um, maybe you have already seen it. Um, I placed the slide on a soft surface, on some soft tissue paper. That's something you don't want to do. You need, of course, a hard surface, a hard ta tabletop. Um, otherwise, the slide's going to break. So I'm, tr I'm trying this again here, uh, pressing down vertically. You don't want to have any horizontal forces here, no shear forces is just the vertical pressure is fine and then everything uh, went under the microscope and then I was actually um, yeah <laughs> I was actually pretty disappointed <laughs> look at this this is all I found here a black black dark blob and 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 no starch grains and and no details or anything so back to the beginning again and now with much less material and a lot of pressure I was able to compress it very thinly into a very fine film uh, and very fine layer um, of starch grains and banana cells and the result is much better now. Um, all of those dots that you see now are the individual starch granules. So you see there are lots of them here and this basically explains why bananas are, yeah, why they give us so much uh, energy uh, because they're loaded with starch just like potatoes, um, just like potatoes are. Yeah, that's pretty easy to do uh, but now I'd like to talk a little bit about the starch itself. And uh, yeah, I wanted to know or I want to explain to you uh, or maybe you want to know why is it that uh, plants, uh, even though they produce glucose by photosynthesis why don't they just store the glucose as it is why do they bother to convert the glucose to starch and starch um, are basically these long chains of glucose so one glucose molecule next to, to each other and then basic, basically because they're spiral shaped um, they form those granules that you see over here um, yeah why does it do that well glucose uh, in its uh, pure form ha is very difficult to store the plants have a real problem storing that uh, because uh, glucose is water soluble and uh, because it's water soluble it can be easily transported around now that's the good thing but at the same time um, it's difficult to store because um, the glucose does not want to stay there where it is because it likes to diffuse away yeah? Um, it likes to move from an area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration. So there's diffusion happening and uh, therefore it's difficult to contain glucose in one place. And the second problem is, is if you are able to somehow contain glucose in one place, well then you have the problem of osmosis, that water wants to go into that area. And it kind of upsets the osmotic balance of the cell. So what the cell has to do now is it has to solve this problem. It somehow has to store the glucose, but at the same time, you want to avoid all of those problems. And it does that by converting the glucose to starch. 
because starch is not water soluble um, and therefore it does not upset the osmotic balance of the cell and it also likes to stay there where it is. Those starch granules they don't go anywhere. They just uh, build up inside the cell, the cell forms them and it stays in there and the problem is solved. Yeah. So you see this is the reason why in nature we rarely find uh, pure glucose. Um, if there is glucose it's always present in the form of starch. So for example potatoes have starch granules, wheat grains um, of course and uh, beans uh, yeah rice for example and so on uh, corn yeah? if you look around all of those uh, uh, foods and fruits um, and vegetables they all store uh, glucose in the form um, in the form of starch and this is uh, yeah also the reason why bananas give us so much energy because when we eat bananas uh, just like eating potatoes or rice or wheat or whatever we're eating a lot of starch and uh, this is then also not only an important energy source for the plant but of course also for us because in our digestive system System, the starch is broken down again and uh, then the cells uh, can use the glucose to, for cell respiration um, and uh, to use it as an energy source. Well, I hope uh, that you liked uh, this video again. Uh, it's uh, quite fascinating uh, how varied and complex nature is and how it actually was able to solve all of those problems. Uh, and uh, if you like these type of videos, uh, please do consider subscribing. Um, I put another link into the description below if you want uh, to visit my other YouTube channel where I'm going to talk, where I'm talking a little bit about more about the details on how I prepared um, those specimens. Well, then I invite you all also over to that channel. But for right now, thank you for watching. Happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye bye.